Hey everyone, I'm Ian McSomething, and welcome to Bitchin' Kitchen, a place to go on the internet where you can go if you want to learn something new to make in the kitchen, or just hear some bitchin'. Since we can't go to the county fair this summer, today's home make is a fairground favorite. Quarantine kettle corn. And also, since we can't go out, I've been spending a lot more time on Facebook, so today we're going to talk about my crazy cousin Craig's ideas about commies and socialism and what it means to be an American. That I'm proud to be an American. All that and more on today's episode of batch of homemade kettle corn, all you'll need is a half a cup of unpopped popcorn kernels, three tablespoons of cooking oil, one and a half teaspoons of salt, and three tablespoons of sugar, some oven mitts or kitchen towels, and a large stock pot with a lid. Now, let's talk about stock pots because they're not all created equal. This is a generic steel stock pot that you can get at like your local supermarket. It's probably 20, 30 bucks. It's fine as if you're making a big soup, but it's got thin sides and like a really thin bottom. Listen. It's okay if you're filling its whole surface area with liquid, like for a stock or a sauce or something like that, but today's comparatively small amount of cooking oil is going to burn. It just is. You're gonna get a lot of burning and a lot of smoke long before you get up to popcorn popping temperature. Something like this is gonna do you a lot better. Way thicker on the sides and especially on the bottom. Oh my gosh, listen to that. Thick, thick stock pot. And bonus, it's got a clear lid so we can keep an eye on our popcorn friends while they're popping. Let's go. Begin by setting your cooking temperature. That's the wrong one. And now it doesn't want to light. It's going to scare me in a second. It hates me. To medium heat, pour in your three tablespoons of cooking oil. Now, again, vegetable oil, coconut oil, uh, canola oil, they will all do you. I am using coconut because I like the sweetness, and according to Craig, because I'm a goddamn hippie. Also, you're going to want to add in just three or four popcorn kernels, okay? And you're going to keep an eye on them. They're going to be your, uh, your alarm clock. When most of them have popped, you will be up to temperature and you will be ready to cook. Today we're using butterfly popcorn, a uh, normal popcorn that you find in a movie theater. Remember those? Hello darkness, my old friend. But there's actually two types of popcorn. Butterfly, uh, known for its tendency to butterfly out when it pops, light, airy, really easy to eat while you're watching your favorite action movie, and mushroom popcorn, much thicker, denser, way more surface area, perfect for something like kettle corn if you can get your hands on it. Less fun fact. Armor-piercing rounds are only labeled so if they can pierce the armor of a tank. A regular shot from a decent rifle will pierce body armor just fine. Craig likes to remind me of that on Facebook sometimes. I'm not sure why. All right, we're getting up to temperature, so we can add in the rest of our popcorn kernels. Woo! Give them a good mix around, get them all nice and coated in the oil. Our three tablespoons of sugar and our one and a half teaspoons of salt. Mix that in. Same deal, just get it all nice and coated. The popcorn is going to get coated in the sugar and oil and salt and then pop and it will cover the pop, uh, will cover the pop popcorn. This is what covers it up. I can't speak. Fire in the hole! Okay, so you want your lid and you want two oven mitts or kitchen towels. And you're gonna take the lid firmly in your thumbs, holding the side, and just start shaking it around. When you're making kettle corn, movement is key. The minute things stop moving, they're gonna slow down, they're gonna burn. So you just wanna give everything a nice little shake around. It's gonna go from some popping to a bunch of popping really, really fast. Here we go. Now we're popping. And there you have it, everyone. County Fair popcorn in the comfort of your own quarantine.
Oh, yeah. I'm gonna take this big old bowl and rewatch Game of Thrones from episode one. Just kidding. The DBs are dead to me. But you know what, Craig? If you haven't started it yet, you totally should. I know you don't have HBO and um, there's a lot of gay stuff, but there's also a lot of boobs. And trust me, Craig, Game of Thrones only gets better the further in you get. See you next time, y'all, on Bitch. <laughs>